alligators, it's Allie Hardesty and sorry my setup's a little bit different today. It's actually pretty cute. I am at my friend's house and her name starts with an A, it's Alexa, so I mean I guess this fits. But I decided that I would do a Q&A today. I've been promising you guys for a while that I would film one because surprisingly enough you guys request these like all the time. So I'm finally going to do one. I told you guys on Twitter to use hashtag GatorFam or hashtag GatorSquad, ask me some questions. So I screenshotted most of them and we're just going to roll through these today. What is your biggest pet peeve? Okay, I hate when people do this. Like it drives me crazy. My mom in specific does this. Sorry, mom. When I'm having a full blown conversation with someone, like I'm looking at them, I'm speaking to them. And then in the middle of me talking, they cut me off just to tell me something about my physical appearance. Like, hey, you need to blend your eyeshadow or hey, what kind of toothpaste do you use? Like they're just staring at me. They're not listening to anything I'm saying. It makes me so mad. So that's definitely my biggest pet peeve. And let me know if you guys would like to see a complete pet peeve video. I've seen a lot of YouTubers make those. Are you ever in school and someone recognizes you? No, I'm not that cool yet. I've had subscribers like DM me and such saying that they saw me, but they were scared to talk to me. I think I said this in another Q and A video, but no one's actually come up to me and said something. Although the other day my friend April was in the cafeteria and she heard some girl like making a reference to my outro and I'm like later alligators like I know that's a generic thing but she told me they were like talking about my channel or like at least it seemed that way so I don't know I go to Shasta College maybe people watch me there I don't really know I did do a dorm like tour so I know that like everyone who works at my school has seen it because they asked me to tour the entire campus and make a video for that so I don't know how did you and Blake meet? Okay, this is a loaded question. I don't even know if I wanna answer this because I'm just going to probably get a lot more questions concerning this. And yes, I will make a boyfriend tag. I know you guys have been asking me to do that for so long now, but uh, Blake was actually Bobby in my previous story times. If you guys have seen confronting my ex with other woman or my ex slept with his sister video. So he was my ex's best friend, like since childhood. And then as you guys know, my ex cheated on me. And one of the girls that he cheated on me with was Blake's ex. So they ended like their lifelong friendship. And then a year later, here we are, cause we were always really good friends. And it's kind of a crazy story, like how that happened, how that worked out. But yeah, Blake is amazing. And I am so, so happy to be with him now. And yeah, if you guys want to backtrack, watch my old story times, you're going to kind of piece it together. Just remember that Blake is Bobby. Advice for a first time college student. Okay, so I could make an entire video on this. I feel like I say this with almost all of my questions, but do not procrastinate. That will be the death of you in college and take advantage of office hours. Like if you have questions, go talk to the teacher and have them sit down and explain it to you because that is their job. So that's definitely the number one thing I have to say about that. Also, manage your time. Don't party too much. Don't go out with your friends. I know that you want to be social and like meet people, but school is why you're there. Remember that that is your number one priority. If you were able to look through one person's phone, who would it be? I don't believe that that ever leads to anything good. Anytime I've ever done that, it just has made me feel bad afterwards, like ex-boyfriends or whatever. So uh, sometimes I feel like it's better to be oblivious and that you should trust people, especially if it's like someone you're dating. So I wouldn't want to look through anyone's phone. Just like you never know what you're going to find in there that is personal and I have nothing to hide on my phone, but still I wouldn't necessarily want someone like snooping through it. So I would honestly say no one to that question. Name three beauty products with their brands you couldn't live without. I'm not into makeup enough to like know how to answer that question. I kid you not, I just figured out how to use highlighter like a few days ago. I thought that concealer was highlighter and my friend had to like explain it to me. So I just bought some and then I bought the wrong brush for it. So I don't know, I'm not a makeup person, but I did start using like all new products now. So if you guys want me to make an updated makeup tutorial, let me know because I swear like what I'm doing now to my face, like I only know how to do one thing, but like it works for me. So let me know. Would you ever be friends with a fan? Okay, I really do not consider you guys fans. I consider you guys like my long distance friends and whatnot. And a lot of you guys I have spoken to personally, whether it's like DM or like met you guys and talked to you guys. So you guys are all my friends. I don't consider you guys fans at all. Like fans of what? I'm just like a person who makes videos. Do you have any more scary story times? Yes, I do. There's one I've been meaning to tell for a little bit now. It is when I went to a haunted slaughterhouse and you guys really love my paranormal haunted hotel video. So, I mean, I guess I'll tell this one as well. I probably have some other scary ones. I just can't really think of them right now, but I will film that for you guys real soon. Next question. 
do you low-key stalk your fans YouTube channels slash Instagrams? Again, you guys are my friends, but yes, I totally do, especially Instagram, because whenever you guys comment, it's just really easy for me to click and, like, go look through your pictures, so a lot of the time, I'll, like, blow up your pics. Like, you'll know that I was there. I'll leave my little alligator mark. Will you come to Seattle in December so we can meet? I would love to, but my family is, this is from Abby, by the way, my family is hopefully going to come visit from Ohio, so I don't know what my schedule's gonna be like, but I'm always open to meeting you guys. That would be so much fun, and Seattle sounds great. I have friends who live there, so we'll see. Where do you see yourself in five years? Hashtag Gator fam. Uh, in five years, hopefully I'll have my bachelor's degree and I will be living in LA or somewhere in California. I really don't see myself living permanently outside of the state because I love it so much. And I mean, I moved all the way back here. What I'll be doing, I would say definitely YouTube, definitely something else of that nature. Like I don't really ever see myself having like a corporate job. And I say this to everyone who asks me like, what do you want to be when you grow up? Like, why are you in college? This and that, like I'm doing it to get a degree and like experience, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, I think I really will own my own business of some sort, like be doing everything myself. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Honestly, I feel like I switch things up all the time, so I'm probably just going to be going with the flow in five years, but hopefully I'll be successful whatever I'm doing. When do you plan on doing your Gator Fam collab? Okay, this is from Destiny, and I did talk about this in a couple emails to subscribers. So subscribers who have like not that many followers, subscribers, whatever, like who do YouTube videos. Okay, my friend's cat just like jumped into this video, so hold on. Gucci. I'm so allergic to her cat, but her cat is so cute. Gucci. Guys, I'm scared to pick her up. Okay. Say hi, Gucci. Hi, Gucci. Look at the camera. Hi, Okay, I'm gonna put you down now. I love you. She is so precious. Okay. Anyways, what was I saying? Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. You're so pretty. She's so pretty. Okay. Ah! Oh, my God. Gucci. Gucci. What do I do, guys? I'm, like, moving the paper towel to, like, kind of block it off now. Okay. She jumped on me. Will you take her out? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Ah! Is that oh, she's good. Oh no. What happened? It moved the camera and everything. Is it okay? Hmm. <laughs> Like I was saying, yes, for people who have YouTube channels but they don't have like a lot of following, I was talking about doing like a huge group collab where basically everyone's like linking each other's videos and like shouting everyone out because of course I'm so down to do collabs with you guys, like virtual collabs or in person, whatever, but it's not realistic for me to like do them with everyone because I just don't have that type of time. So uh, I just moved in. I'm just getting kind of like used to like my college schedule and whatnot, but definitely like in the near future, I will make a video about it or something. So if you guys are interested, let me know if that sounds good for you guys with YouTube channels. What's your favorite thing about Cali? Okay, I feel like the people here are very open-minded. They're not really as judgy as a lot of other states, and maybe that's like totally stereotyping, but obviously the weather is a plus as well. I feel like I never get bored here. Who was the first YouTuber you ever watched? Okay, Supermac18, hint, hint, if you guys have seen a one specific story time on my channel. Yep, he was probably the first YouTuber I ever really remember watching. How do you do your messy buns? Literally just take a hair tie and I like wrap it around once and then wrap it around where it's like folded in half because I don't care My messy bun is not cute if you guys have ever seen it. So That's it What advice do you have to make a YouTube channel? By the way, I love you in your videos. Thank you so much I love you too And I do have a video where I gave advice on like how to start a YouTube channel But I could make an updated version because my subscriber count has like at least doubled since then and that was a long time ago but I would say to upload consistently and to put out a good content, just to be yourself, I guess, don't try to like pretend to be someone you're not or try to like copy another YouTuber that you've seen online because I think that we have enough of those people who do that and the people who kind of like come up and everything are really original and they're like unique for a reason. So that's what I would say and kind of like find your niche, like what type of videos you feel the most comfortable making. What do you like to do with your friends? Okay, I feel like there's not one specific thing I like to do with my friends, but whenever I'm with them, I have a really good time. We're just like laughing, hanging out. Uh, I'm really down for like spontaneous things with my friends. Usually like when I'm by myself, I like to chill. I don't like to do that much. I like to film, edit videos, homework, whatever. But when I'm with my friends, I'm more down to like go out and just like do things, you know? So I don't know how to answer that. Have you ever considered going vegan? I honestly don't want to go there because there's like so much pressure I feel like on YouTube to do that. 
I have definitely thought about it, but at this time in my life, I don't know if it's like realistic because I am on a college budget, I am on college time, I am going like from class to class and filming and like all this stuff. And I know some people say it's like really easy, but for me, if I'm going to do it, I don't want to like half ass it. Like I would really like to be a hundred percent vegan. That means like not using any animal products, etc. So I'm not really like knowledgeable that much about it. So if I was a little bit more informed and it was like a couple years in the future, like maybe once I'm graduated, then I would definitely revisit the idea but at this time no because I don't want to be like a fake vegan you know if I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it have you ever been in a scary situation where the cops got involved if so please tell I love you so much I love you so much too and I don't know if I would consider this like a scary situation but I've definitely had the cops like come to like the beach when we were there after hours like things like that nothing crazy enough where I feel like it's a story time worthy event or night but Sometimes the cops will just kind of show up and like check on things if people are being loud at someone's house, etc. Like I've never had like a crazy story where like ran from the cops or anything. So what do you buy most from Target? I would say makeup and then now since like I live alone in my apartment, groceries. Like that's definitely where I go because I got my red card. You know, I get 5% off. So do you love when your supporters make fan accounts for you on Instagram? By the way, I am one and I love you, Lexi. I love you too, Lexi. And they're not fan accounts, okay? Again, you guys are my friends, like I really mean that. And yes, I honestly like die every time someone like tags me in a little edit. I'm like, oh my God, like my heart just melts because I think that's so, so cute. And it really shows that you guys like watch my videos and are engaged and like like what I put out there because ultimately I do this for you guys. Like I do it for myself because like I enjoy making videos, but I like to know that you guys like what I'm doing so I just think it's a lot of fun and I just I love of course I love it thank you thank you so much for making the page that you did what's your favorite drink at the moment okay I'm honestly kind of addicted to the straw wall rebels from Dutch Bros the blended kind so that's like strawberry watermelon and they're, oh, they're so good but they're so bad for you like Red Bulls are not good and it's rebel because it's like blended drink it's like a slurpy type of Red Bull it's really good is there anything you would change about the past? I've said this in other Q and A's, absolutely not. I think that everyone goes through different experiences in life to ultimately shape them into the person they are today. So I'm very happy at this point in my life and everything that's like shaped me as a person was like meant to happen, you know, so no. Favorite song at the moment? Man, honestly, I don't have like a style of music that I listen to. I just listen to everything. I don't really have like a super like specific taste at the moment. I don't know. Honestly, Wi-Fi Wifey by Nick Bean. I kind of accidentally stumbled across his channel and there will be a reaction video that my friend and I did to like his other song next week I'll probably post. But that song, it's like really catchy. I don't know if that's like my favorite, but I've been listening to it a lot lately. What do you love most about your YouTube career? I love the fact that I'm in control of what I post and it's like my creative content. And I like that it's like chill, you know? I. I don't know. I honestly love everything about it. I love that I have so many friends online now from this and that I am like hopefully helping people with some of my stories. Like if people have never been through the things that I've been through, they can like relate to me or like learn ahead of time before they like make the same mistakes. I think that's pretty cool. I've never had a sister. So like when like younger girls especially watch my videos, it's like that is so cool because I grew up with like a little brother, you know, we're not going to go through the same exact things. So definitely that I just think that it's definitely created a lot of opportunities for me like right now and hopefully like down the line in the future as I continue making videos. So I love everything about YouTube and all that it's done for me like 100%. Sorry, I'm looking down at my phone. When is your next meet and greet? I love you, by the way. I love you too. And my next meet and greet, I did a couple in Ohio with Natalia Taylor because at the time we both had like around the same subscribers and congrats to her. I think she just hit like 51K or something. She's blowing up. So, oh my gosh, she's amazing. And anyways, so like the two of us together, like we had like a decent size, like people showing up, you know? So we did a couple of those. In California, I have not yet done one by myself. I don't even know if like, how I'd, I don't know how I'd feel about that like just myself like not going with another youtuber to the meet-and-greet So I am meeting actually a subscriber in Chico in a couple days like tomorrow or the next day because she like messaged me and asked me because I'm in Chico right now but I'll probably upload this like after that happens and yeah Let me know where you guys are at if you guys want me to do a meet-and-greet somewhere in California Let me know because I'm definitely down I just would want to know that people would show up because like I'm not that big or anything I know this isn't a question, but show us the most recent picture from your camera roll so it's literally a screenshot from a subscriber asking me a question. And this question is, do you have any weird bad habits? If so, what is it? 
I don't even know if I want to show you guys this. This is so weird. Like, I didn't realize it was weird until people started saying, like, what the heck are you doing? But I go like this, like, the outside, like, little part of my ear, you know? And I just, like, press on it like that when I'm bored. And people literally give me the weirdest looks. Like, I don't do it in public or anything, but if I'm just sitting on the couch at home, like, it's not on the inside of my ear. It's just, like, basically my skin, like, right there. And I just kind of go like that, and it makes a really loud noise, and everyone's, like, like freaked out by it. So I guess that's like a weird habit. And when I was younger, I used to twist my hair until I fell asleep and it would get like tangled in my finger because I had really blonde curly hair. So yeah, I'm going to check Twitter one last time now for any other questions because these were the ones that I screenshotted like a couple hours ago. Let's check it out. Have you ever gotten arrested? No, I have not. I'm very proud to say. Forever Alicia said, when they ship bubble wrap, do you think that they pack it in bubble wrap? I don't think that's necessary, so like I don't think that they do unless it was like a different kind of bubble wrap that they were like shipping you that was very fragile, like say it was a glass bubble wrap. I doubt that exists, but you get the point, so I don't think they do, but that's a very interesting question. What if you went to school one day and there was a bear in your room, what would you do? When I was in sixth grade, there was a hawk that flew into our classroom and we all ducked under the table, so I mean, uh, the bear situation, that's a little bit different because it's not flying, it's like on the same level as you, and I know you're supposed to not look at them in the eye, right? Or maybe that's a different kind of animal, I don't know, so I would probably like slowly walk out of the room like avoiding eye contact and like try not to have to fight the bear, so yeah these are all the questions i have time for today so again thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i upload every monday and friday and hopefully this video taught you guys a little bit more about me any future questions always go hashtag gator fam gator squad on twitter or you can leave comments below because i read those as well i love you guys so much follow my social media i'll link those too give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you next time later alligators bye <laughs> And I'm a little scared to make this video because I don't want to get sued or something because I'm totally calling them out and exposing them right now. But it is what it is. I feel like technically I could actually sue them for breach of contract. So I'm just going to start from the beginning. 